Hello guys and welcome to the Hackinons YouTube channel. In Python programming language, operators are used to check the relation between two data types. Usually, we make use of operators such as equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than and many more others like them. In this video, we will learn about the does not equal to operator that is used to compare two operators and return statements such as true or false with ample amount of cases and examples. The is not equal to operator is used to check the relation between two objects. For example, if we check the relation between data 1 and data 2, as you can see data 1 is an apple and data 2 is grapes. And if you apply the does not equal to operator for these two datas, you will get the boolean value through. Since apple and grapes are of different type and hence we return the boolean type through. Another example of is not equal to operator that returns false is when you compare two data types of the same data quantity. For example, if you use the is not equal to operator on a data such as apple and apple, since the data is the same, it will return a truth statement of false. Now let's understand this more precisely on our code editor. Let's say I define two numbers. The first number is 10 and the second number is 20. And now if I print that does not equal to operator on them both. So let me do that. Num does not equal to num2 and if I run the program you will see the boolean value through appearing since 10 and 20 are of different value. However, if I change the value of num2 to a value that is equal to num that is 10 and if I run the program now it gives a truth statement of false since the both data types are the same. We can also compare the relation between these two numbers using the is operator. For example, if I say print num is num2 and if I run the program, it returns a truth value of true. And if I change the value of num2 to 20 and now if I run the program, it returns a truth statement of false since the two values are different. We can also combine the is keyword to not and now if I run the program it will throw out a truth statement of true since num1 is not num2 or in other words num is not equal to num2. Well it does not only stop here you can use the comparison operator that is not equal to to compare data such as lists, tuples, dictionaries and sets. So we'll understand each of these examples. On the screen, I have created two types of lists. One is a list that stores data 2 and 3 and the other stores data of 5 and 4. And now if I print A is not equal to B and run the program, it returns a statement of true since the data present in both of these lists are different. However, if I make some alteration in these lists and I say b is equal to 2 comma 3 and run the program now, it will return a truth statement of false since now the data in both of them are equal. That is why the operation of true gets reversed by the negation and that is visible as false on the output window. You can also do this comparison using tuples. For example, if I print 22 comma 46 is not equal to 50, 52 comma 81 and run this program as you can see the truth statement is true and if I change this to is not and run the program it again shows true since the two data tuples are different. So you can try it out on your interpreter and understand these concepts in a more improved manner. To compare two sets, you simply need to add the set keyword 
before your parenthesis. So let me change this comment and say set comparison. And then what I will do is at the start of the tuple, I will say set. Now this data is no more a tuple, but it's a set data. And I'll do the same thing over here. And inside the set argument, I will create a list since a set takes only a single argument and cannot take more than one arguments. So I'll create a list and outside the list, I'll place the set function. And if I run the program now, you can see the output is showing through since these two datas are different and their negation gives the truth value as true. Likewise, we can compare two dictionaries using the is not or the is not equal to operator. With this, we can perform intricate operations between two data types and get the desired output that we are searching for. So that's it from this video where we learned about the is not equal to operator present in Python programming language. If you like this video, do drop a like and subscribe to the Hackinons YouTube channel for more fun and interesting videos.